Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. I have an unboxing today that I'm super excited to share. I have not um, unwrapped it other than to take the outside packaging on. It's all still taped down. I was lucky enough to purchase a journal from Annelie in Sweden who shares the same sort of love of nature and botanical journals that I do. And I've been waiting for the last month for this journal to get here. So excited because uh, in the midst of when it was, you know, getting closer and closer here in California, we had the fires break out and part of town was evacuated and the post office closed and I was worried that it was going to make it here or get lost. Anyways, it's here. I'm going to open it up and look at it with you for the very first time. So let's see. Upside down, of course. <laughs> Look at her beautiful roses. Oh, and some of her goodies that she uses in her stuff. Look at this. Ah. Look at here. Some great flower bits to use, or leaf bits, and the colored fibers, which I use so much, you guys know, and I just love these little roses that, of course, are green. Ah. Here we have some of her old paper. That is really pretty. Oh, and some beautiful napkins. Oh, don't we all just love napkins? Of course, all the nature ones, and I have not seen any of these. Beautiful, thank you. Goodness gracious, all the goodies in addition to the journal. <gasps> Green. Little green pins, look at there. Those will be great little clips to use. Oh, and some crochet, oh, some trim. Wow, let's see. Let's pull out this lacy trim. Oh, how yummy is that? It's that wonderful, it's definitely some great old cotton lace. Or it could be new cotton lace. I don't know. It feels old. Wonderfully, maybe a little bit of tea dye on it. Oh. And the little crochet bits here. These will just be great little accents. Absolutely awesome. Let's see if the light's a little bright here. I'm trying to figure out without making it too much darker if I can move it a little more. Isn't this gorgeous? Wow. Oh my. Okay, let's. Oh, oh, what goodies. What goodies. Okay, I'm going to save the journal. Let's look at the other goodies first in here. Oh, Annalie. This is amazing. Let me get the box out of the way. Some of her eco prints. Awesome colors. It's wonderful to see this for real when you see her work with it all the time. You can see the little flower print here. And the reason I wanted to open this on video is she's one of those um, YouTubers that I don't understand why she doesn't have a lot more subscribers. This is from the little, I think maybe it's from the uh, Bible in Swedish. Look at how old that is. The script is absolutely beautiful. And so I'm hoping if people watch the unboxing that I do here, more people will go watch her work because I always get inspired when I watch her. Thank you so much. Some of her original prints. Beautiful blues. Love them. Absolutely gorgeous. Maybe blueberry. Maybe with her color burst. I know she does that sometimes too. How fabulous. All right. Oh, and she's got, I think she still has some in her store, some of the, her old buttons. She scored a big stash of old buttons. Look at all these yummy, oh, gorgeous old buttons to play with in browns, in my colors that I love to use. Love these. Love them. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ooh, is that a metal? There's some metal ones. Look at there. And I haven't even gotten to the journal yet, you guys. I know I'm going to be spoiling. Everything is so coordinated with the colors that I love. I love this trim. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. All dyed my greens that I love. The shades of green. Thank you so much. Wow. This is beautiful. And People, you know, she's got an Etsy shop where a lot of times she will sell these things. You need to catch it because they sell out fast. But I said I'll put all her information to her shop and her channel down below for you when I am done feasting on all this yummy goodness. Look at this beautiful textile. Oh, this is absolutely stunning wow that is a book right there isn't it oh my gosh beautiful all right this is what i've been waiting for of all the stuff i had like about 15 packages that i'm waiting to have come you know with the uh since our post office has just started back working again. And this was the only one I was worried about, is I really wanted to make sure that this got here and didn't get lost. This is big. It's wonderful. Oh, see, I should give you some measurements, huh? We are about nine inches by six and a half by about two and a half. What a nice thought is to cover the, to put a little fabric covering on that. That is a very nice thought. See, I, I get inspired. Every time I see what she does, I get inspired. Oh. I was watching her make this. She did it in a series where you would see a little bit she was doing every day. Oh my gosh. And I just knew. I knew when I saw it getting put together that I needed it. Look at this. This is a leather spine and then her eco print fabric on the cover and this wonderful collage. She has these metal butterflies that she puts in her eco print pans and then it prints this butterfly outline on the fabric. A little paper clip that she has rusted and then she coats them in something. I need to do that. That keeps it a lot protected. Beautiful. Look at here. Oh. This is going to be something I go back to over and over again to get inspired by. This is a pocket. One of her beautiful tags. here. Oh, it is just absolutely beautiful. This is just exactly what I wanted. It's just I'm going to be so inspired. And then there's a little pocket you can put something in there. Some dried flowers. And I love that the books are Swedish in a lot of cases. Beautiful little collages. Look at the little tuck spot here. Oh, beautiful. I'm guessing these are laminated, I think. Or though maybe she just has the acetate and she sews around them. Either way, they're absolutely stunning. Absolutely. 
absolutely stunning. Oh. Look at here. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and it opens. Oh, didn't realize that at first. I already know this is absolutely everything I was hoping it was going to be. I love all the little tags. I think some of these, I don't know Tracy's kits well yet. I have them, but I haven't cut them apart yet, printed them and cut them. But some of these might be some Tracy Fox labels. Beautiful little specimen. Oh, I remember watching her color these. And it's nice to see her actually using, putting stuff on the pages with the eco prints. I tend to be too conservative on mine and not use them up. And I love seeing that she's using the, the page because it adds so much more depth to the page. A couple of collages. All the paper feels different. This is really thin, <clears throat> maybe like an onion skin paper. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Some things might have shifted in shipping. I'll have to play with that later. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And look at the little tiny envelopes here. That's perfect. Oh. All right. Yep. And I will go through it with you guys, and then I will go through it again and again and again. Oh, beautiful. This unwinds somehow. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. Oh no. Okay, I know it opens. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. I think I got it. Yep, I got it. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. So pretty, and then opens this way. I love her collages, and then there's a little tuck spot there if you wanted to put something in there. You could. I love the little leaves as the ties. I'll do that right now. Oh, beautiful. I just, you know, if you haven't subscribed, if you haven't watched her videos, I really, and you like botanical nature stuff, she's just got a lot of great ideas, and they're just absolutely gorgeous. It's a joy to watch. She's one of the few people that I will watch the same video several times. The little twig from her Swedish woods, I love it. I like this idea of putting the fabric in the center of the page. See, she always inspires me. Some more little wood pieces. Oh, I'd like to look for some twisted twigs in my yard. I haven't found any that small. That's perfect. Another one of her tags. Really pretty fern. Another foreign language. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. I should probably slow down, let you guys focus on some of it because it's just stunning. Oh. Wow. 
How can you not be inspired to go work? Look at how gorgeous that is. To work on a nature journal when you see stuff like this. Love this effect. She got some really beautiful effects on her paper. Wonderful collage. Yeah, this paper is so thin. Wow. Oh, this might be one of my favorites yet. You know, and she blends, if there's stuff that she has to do to make look old, she blends it in and it's hard to tell what's old and what's new. Little wooden butterfly. One of her original eco prints. Book page. Oh, love her collages. Boy, she's got some really cool little bits of wood. All right, I'm going to have to go find another place to go hiking and find some of these. These are just perfect for collages because they're so tiny, but they add so much. Use of fibers and lace. And it's funny, until I started watching a lot of her stuff, I kept thinking the lace didn't really go with my botanical stuff the way I was trying, but then I kept watching her, and she uses just enough of it to give it a great accent without overwhelming. Butterfly charm. This is just a feast for the eyes. That is beautiful. Yeah, so they could be laminated or they could just be acetate in between them. So many wonderful cards with her flowers and leaves in them. touch. It's beautiful. I know, I just keep saying ooh, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> Look at here. The little collages are just the right touch, just enough to add a little something to the page, but not overwhelm the beauty of the page. Oh, these little, now, yeah, I wanna go dig out my little specimen thing, or coin holders and make the little specimen things here. How gorgeous is that? Some nice paper. I don't know what this is. Love her twigs. Just I knew I would. The eco prints are so pretty too. But love her twigs. It's a really good idea. I like that in the center. Very tactile journal, so you'll want to go through and touch everything again and again. And moody it's very moody this is what she does she's got a great video on doing these things with the napkins mm. absolutely wonderful I think this is her the farm she lives in lives on I think this was like from back when they you know book from people in the past that lived on the farm if I remember right while I was waiting for the journal to arrive I watched the video where she showed the flip through of it several times <laughs> Kept saying it's on its way it's on its way just the simple little tags here are great tags tabs Oh, I like this collage. 
Advantage is to get very flat ones. As soon as I start putting a bunch of layers on, mine get really thick. So she does a really good job at getting them nice and flat. This is gorgeous. Wow. I am just really grateful I was able to grab this in time. And that it made its way safely from Sweden to California. This will be a source of constant inspiration for me. I know it. Some more of her great little book text there. Something about the old script, isn't it? We just love seeing that old script. I'm going to have to practice cutting with my X-Acto knife. I don't have a die cut thing, so I'm, I'm liking the idea of doing some more windows. Really pretty. Ooh, isn't this fun? So you turn the page here. And you've got a little coin specimen and then in here. Notes. And that tucks in here. But then you still have you can flip that over and you have writing space back here. Very interactive. A little tuck spot here. Let's center of that signature, more of the wonderful curly twigs and whatever this stuff is. Okay, I'm gonna have to go look and <clears throat> so we've got a little oh, coin thing in here that is so pretty. And then this opens up. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Look at all the different ways you can open this. This is really lovely. And then it flips. And you could even put something there. Yeah, I just love her collage work. ferns. Just love them. And one last set of these. Just beautiful. Oh, and a little piece of metal. Embossed metal. And the little slot die. Absolutely gorgeous. Every bit of this, absolutely gorgeous. Anneli, thank you so much for uh, sending this across the way to me. I am just thrilled beyond belief with it. And I will put her information down below so you can check out her Etsy shop and you can check out her channel, and I hope you will. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.